All right, welcome to the 24th of April, our fifth game session for Theft of the Moon. Um, I'm thinking that since this was supposed to be a one-shot and it has so far turned into five weeks, we're going to do everything in our power to end it tonight so that we can get back to our normally scheduled Torg. Um, I'm getting the feeling that my players are not very comfortable with the game, um, and that is my fault in its entirety, and I apologize about that, but the big deal is this, um, I'm not comfortable with second edition whatsoever. Um, first edition was hard enough to learn because it is not a standard uh, role-playing game. It's not a, a roll dice, kill die, you take this much damage uh, after this much armor is reduced and, and wash, rinse, repeat. The One Ring is a lot more elegant than that. It is a lot gentler than that. Uh, they still have their hard times and everything like that, but the uh, entire idea is that uh, um, uh, the, the combat and the way it runs is, is in general, brilliant, um, and it has a story-defined purpose to it, but it makes it kind of a niche game, so it's, it's more or less hard to follow. All right, so we're going to try and finish things up tonight and return to Torg. I have a, a brilliant adventure that uh, I've run once in my life. It's an adventure campaign, the beginning of an adventure campaign. I've got everything set up for it, um, and the uh, adventure campaign uh, uh, is is a beautiful one. It's probably my favorite adventure campaign of all time, second favorite being um, Mists of Betrayal for Earth Dawn. Um, and, uh, w you know what, we're going to, we're going to see how it goes. So off we go. Uh, okay. I'm going to kind of start at the top. Duota, what do you remember from last week? I hadn't reached the enemies yet. That might take a little while. Yeah. Um, th but they are closing <laughs> with you as well. Um, you old, what do you remember? I remember that. I have been having trouble trying to hit some of the enemies from a distance. Mm -hmm. I also know that I got a couple good hits in from last time. And we were able to figure out how did the combat uh, mechanics work on this system now. Well, that's okay. That's okay, because uh, I forgot how to also. So I'm going to be, you know, kind of running back and forth with those. Um, see, f there are some differences between first and second edition. So I'm having to learn, relearn some things. Um, well, we've all got to learn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to learn, boy. Okay, uh, so Luthwin, what do you remember? I killed one of the goblin archers. Mm-hmm. Oh, first shot. Then yep. I nearly took out an orc soldier. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's see. You guys are right there. Let's go ahead and, and center this up like so. Okay. Um, then, uh, Norin, what do you remember? I remember we tracked the enemy here and uh, started combat, and I've been, I'm just waiting for him to get closer. Okay. So I'm not surrounded by orcs if I move out there. Okay. My friends have killed one and wounded another with arrows. Mm hmm. And, uh, yep, I'm just waiting to smash them. Hawk smash? Okay. Um, dwarf smash. Dwarf smash, even better, because you can do it from underneath. Um, Radigand, what do you <laughs> what do you remember? Um, that uh, we had tracked the guys to, or what we think is the bad guy, he killed his partner, the the goblin or half goblin, mm -hmm. and um, our su suspect has gone to ground at some kind of a. Uh, Natural or partially fortified ruins, uh, mm -hmm. uh, circle. And oh. I had snuck out. No, what? go ahead. Go ahead. You're good. You're good. And, and I had snuck uh, uh, around to, to scout ahead, essentially. So I don't know that my, my companions are in distress. Mm -hmm. And I'm overlooking or peering, trying to peer into uh, the darkness that is the valley of this tower area the shelter and i think it's a brigand hideout or village because there's several huts um there's lots of seedy looking dudes mm -hmm. um 
and I'm thinking that this could get kind of hairy. And I'm trying to count numbers and and uh, see if I can actually spot the guy because we know him. We know <laughs> what he's supposed to who who he is. Uh, but so far, I haven't seen him. Okay. And uh, and as soon as I I think I get an accurate picture of, of this place, I'm gonna sneak back to where I last saw my companions. Okay. Provided there you they go. don't get shoved into the in there under duress. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Now, here's what I remember. Okay, um, uh, for Radigand, I was allowing Ginger to kind of view what's going on with our fight here. Um, but uh, she and I, at the end of this turn, and it's the bad guy's time, so she and I, at the end of the bad guy's turn, uh, are going to switch back over and deal with her for several minutes because I gave you guys two rounds. I was supposed to be switching off back and forth, and I, I brain farted that. So we're going to kind of go with that. Um, you guys have done a good job so far at uh, eliminating some of the, the bad guys. So we're going we're gonna to drive on. Okay, so my orc guard. Uh, I need to pop open the sheet. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, that's nice. I like how it did that. Um, let's see. Two. Okay, I'm going to move him up. Does he have... He does not, but he's got a spear. So, the spear... Let me pop this open. Uh, edit that. And see what the range is on it. I don't have a range, of course. Um, oh, wait a minute. This is a... No, spear and short spear can can both be thrown... Um, so let me see what the distance is to Duota. Ooh, Duota's within range. Um, okay. Uh -oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm in range. Well, they have to spot me first. It, for well, you too. yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, wait, I've got to select and... Oh, for heaven's sake. That's why I can't double right click. Okay, that's the combat state. That's the targeting. So, Duota has been targeted by old boy. Uh, there we go. And then I need to roll spear. Let's see. It is not favored or ill favored. Uh, he is not where. Wait a minute. Did he lose any? No, he has not. So the target number there is 16. He has no... Well, let's see. The actual target number... Well, he's aiming at the light, though. Okay, I'm going to go with what I've got. Let's roll this. Oh, hello. Some updates have been done. Okay, let's see. So Spear, 16. He rolled a 17, which is a great success, which means he gets some extra uh, damage. Let's see, the special success. Ooh, he gets to choose. Cool. Um, you know what? We're going to go with a heavy blow. So that should show uh, Not up. cool for us. Not cool <laughs> for you, but definitely cool for me. <laughs> um. <laughs> So let's see, eight damage. Let's see if it automatically came off. Uh, so let me open your character sheet, Duota of Stony Ford. Uh, come on, pop open. You can do this. Uh, and endurance, no, your endurance did not automatically reduce. So go ahead and subtract eight uh, from wait, that. Doesn't, hmm? Doesn't she have to roll for something like armor? I saw that uh, mentioned in uh, here that uh, mm. roll. That's only if you take armor. a wound. Yeah, that that's only if you take a piercing blow. She has not taken a piercing yeah. blow, so she does not have the opportunity okay. to get a wound. Yeah, so she takes eight hit okay. points worth of damage. How's that? Uh, All so right. yes. Yeah. So my endurance goes from thirty yeah, to yeah. yeah. It's it's in the big uh, it's in the big um, diamond that you've got there, so you can reduce that. Yeah, okay, so use the big diamond, not little diamond. Right. Because the little yes, diamond I'm doing is the big diamond, is your little max. Diamond. 
Oh, the the big diamond, not the little diamond. Are you sure? <laughs> okay, so I let's know see. the difference. Okay, so that orc soldier. Ooh, that's the one that's that's injured pretty mightily. Let's go ahead and get him opened up. Uh, three. Uh, let's see his. Oh, yeah. He's still active, but his endurance is only a three. What can he do? Huh. Not a whole lot. So, okay. Um. Oh, which one was that one again? Is that that one right there? Yes, that's that one right there. Um, and he can move how far? Only three. So two three and what does he have he also has a spear oh hey um let me um for that orc oh, guard that their only weapon they have no no they've got other okay. weapons uh but let's see i've got to i don't want to eliminate that okay i can edit that though so spear uh um, at Duota, if I can spell Duota, at, well, Gazuntite, and then some. Okay, and then we'll close. There we go. Okay, so that one's done. This one has a spear, and he is going to throw it. Um, that's my guy right there. Let's do some measurement here. Nine and ten. Ooh, so Luthwin could be hit as well. Uh, wrong person. Uh, oh, that's the orc guard. I need the orc soldier. Well, actually, it's the same distance. So, um, let's see. Okay. Let's go ahead and... I think I need to release the target from Duota first. And then I can go and target Luthwin so that I don't get any crosstalk going on in the system itself. Okay, so you know what? He is going to let's see Orc Guard, Orc Soldier. Okay, he is going to attempt to throw his spear at you. Uh, to do, to do, and it's the same thing because you do have light there. Ooh, he's got a difficulty number of 18 though. Okay, ooh. Boy, am I getting the another great success. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go ahead and do a heavy blow against uh, Luthwin as well. So that's seven damage to Luthwin. Okay. Okay, and let me move along here. Move along, move along. Okay, the next Orc Soldier is that one. And I believe he he's gonna have the same the same stuff, but I want to make sure that I use the right the right stuff. He can move three. So let's go one, two, three. Okay, and then let's see. Does he have also a also a spear? <laughs> Duota, you might be taking it tonight. I mean <laughs> Um, now, uh, I... Well, well, in her defense, you'll now have two ranged weapons. What's that? In her defense, you'll have two ranged weapons for her to throw back at them. Well, actually, both... <laughs> uh, each of you do. So, um, because this one threw at you, Luthwin. This one here. Oh. Yeah. Uh, which reminds me, I need to mark that up. And go in and change that so that I know where it went to. Spear. At Luthwin. Okay, and close. Okay. So that one goes away. Oh, wait. I closed the wrong one. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, that orc soldier right there. Okay. Now, um... So what I should do is roll. I'm going to roll between you. Um, yep, sure. 
So odds are going to be Luthwin. Okay, Luthwin, you are getting ready to take a, uh, a another spear, maybe, maybe. Okay, oh, I've got to set you again. Okay, I like how that works. I like how that works a lot. Okay, um... Oh, he failed. He missed. So, let's see. Let's edit that one. Um, at Luthwin. Missed. Okay. And come on, close. Good boy. Okay. So, things are working a little bit faster tonight. That's a good thing. Okay, that orc soldier. Uh, and of course, he only moves three again. Three. And good lands. Now, um, I was just thinking about this. Um, just remembering this. Let me find out about it. Okay, there's endurance loss. Knockback. Sometimes an attack is so powerful that a fighter prefers to roll with the punches and reduce the force of the blow by giving ground. Once each round, player heroes can have the endurance, can cut the endurance in half, caused by a successful attack rounding fractions up. Okay, so it goes to your favor if you get a fraction. Uh, by choosing to be knocked back, they will spend their next main action recovering their fighting position. Okay, so your next main action, you won't be able to do anything but get back your fighting position. Unless, let's see, examples of main actions, That's recovering your position. Glitched. What's that? The fact that the audio glitched just when you were saying anything, like it was emphasizing it with the robotic tone of voice all of a sudden. It, sorry about that. It picks up that way sometimes. Uh, so what do you... Uh, hmm. So if you do a knockback, you're going to spend your next main action recovering from it. But it can help reduce damage. Uh, let's see. Not worth it yet for me. Okay, so you've taken a total of what, 14 points? No, not 14 points. Seven. Just yeah, because, seven because the second guy failed. That's right. Okay, so he's done. And I can move forward. Okay, that's another orc soldier. Where is he? He's up there. Uh, one, two, three. These guys are advancing in a line. When they saw the success of their first guy, they decided that uh, that uh, uh, they were going to go ahead and, and keep it up. Needed. Yeah, 10 meters, 9 meters. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's weird. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. It works. It does work. Okay, so. So, old boy here. Let me get him open. And roll a d6 again. Roll a d6. Roll a d6. Na, 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 na. <laughs> DM says you're going to die. Roll a d6. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, Luthwin. It's you again, buddy. The, All right. It's, it's, it's just like what happened to Chris in the first couple of adventures of Torg. He's the one who wound up taking all the damage. So... <laughs> and you wonder uh, why you ran away all the time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so roll. Uh oh, I got a. I just had to mark the mock the universe. I didn't die. Uh, I no. Just had to. <laughs> hey, nah, you're all right. Okay, so seven seven more damage. So that's a total of fourteen for you. Do you want to try and uh, go with knockback, or stick it out and uh, be able to attack this coming around? I'll tough it out. Okay. All right. Now let me modify this. 
Uh, at Luthwin. Boy, they really like you. Uh, it's probably because they don't like pointies. So uh, Long distance pointies. Long distance pointies. Okay, let me close that one. And back here, last the last goblin archer is where? Oh, he's right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's almost dead. There are two of them that are almost dead, guys. So let's see. He's yeah. got an attribute level of two, so he's going to move up a little bit, but not very far. Well, that's why I'm going to step forward and lend the, lend the magic to the... Uh, Thorin, is your uh, uh, weapon two-handed? Yes. But my right. armor is heavy, so they're going to have a hard time hurting me. So okay, so that's my range. I'm going to step up and be your shield, my elf oh. Yes, please be. <laughs> as wrong as that seems to uh, that sounds, I would very much enjoy the protection, my good friend. Yeah, if he sees a whole bunch of spears traveling at you, um, it's well, then, fortunately and, for and, us, they're out of spears. And yeah. then you're gonna see, and then you're gonna see me smash a few heads. Whoo! Wow! The difficulty number on that was 18. Wait a minute. Why is he rolling four? Both horn is not favored. Well, even with that, he's going to hit and do quite a bit of damage. Yeah. yeah. So who's the damage going to? Okay, it's going It's gone to Duota. Uh, if you look in your uh, comms. Uh, Reggie, 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 Reggie. And that's a total of six damage to you. Alright. Okay. Time for more math. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so you guys are going to go to round three, but uh, I'll need you to wait just a short amount of time while I take care of what Ginger is doing, and uh, and and mm. I'll have to, to deal with that. Uh, uh, Radigund, would you mind joining me in the sidebar, please? Uh, how do we do that again? All you have to do is left-click on sidebar, down there at the bottom. Gotcha. And confirm. I'm in the sidebar. All right. I'm in the sidebar, too. Now, I need to get us over to the Fall Rock. Uh, the, the map for the Fall Rock. And we'll see how things are going. Okay. Um, oh, that's what happened. Hang on a second, and I'll get you moved. Uh, all I have to do is find you. Okay, there's Radigund right there. Shift. There you go. You see yourself? Uh, no. You, you, you should at least be able to see the name. Oh, I didn't bring you over. Uh, hang on. Um, can you, okay, I didn't make it public, did I? So let's go configure, and I need to add that map, all players, save changes. Okay, can you see the fall rock at the top? Uh, yes, do I need to go there? Yes, if you would, please. It's going to load in uh, the default position for you. Just let me know when you're fully in. I'm in. Okay. Oh, let me try that again. All right. Did your map move? Yes. Okay, so that's where you are. You're free to, to um, move your map as you need to uh, by right click and drag. Okay, now, you're seeing what you're seeing and whom you're seeing. Uh, actually, from where you're at, you wouldn't see this one, but you would see this one. You already know that one is there, so I'm not going to fight with it too much. But Okay. Okay. Um, so, you were trying to get numbers. Um, there's a lot of darkness between you and them. Um, it's really hard to see the, the nearer shore of the river, of where the river is, is running through. But like I said, there's a bunch of rocks and timbers and stuff like that where you could quite literally get over to the island if you want okay. to. Um, now, what is your uh, uh, strength? 
Let me see. Mr. Maverick, you're all right, buddy. My strength is 15. No, 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 no. That's your target number. Uh, you want the smaller number. A uh, little. The little one Where in. I'm right. let, let me pop your sheet open here. Oh, yeah, it's three then. Okay, so you get to move uh, basically three squares per turn. Uh, I'll give you, let's see, let's do this instead. Let's do a prolonged athletics check for you to get safely across the water if that's what you want to do. If you just want to spy from where you're at, that's fine too. The uh, water is going to cover some of my noise, correct? The water should cover pretty much all of your noise. All right, then uh, it's mostly keeping hidden in case some of the others are less than human and can see perfectly well in the dark. Well, it's it's a pretty dark night. Uh, it is a it is a a low crescent, so you the the moon is just barely there. The stars are brighter than what the moon's putting out right now. Wait All a minute. Right. Wait a minute. Is that what I? Yeah, yeah. That's what I said last week. So. I want to make sure my moon phases are correct. Does that have something to do with the sickle of the moon? Uh, yeah, a little bit, actually. <laughs> um, it, it's mostly just the time of the month. I just wanted to make sure I note it for the amount of light that there is, or in this case, is not. So, All right. Um, yeah, so you could, if you would be so kind, uh, tell me what you're going to do before I assume things. No, I, I am going to try to get closer. Um, let me see. And I see the boats that they came by boat, right? Um, you don't know for certain, but since there are boats there, then yes. You, you could probably make a safe assumption out of that. Yeah, well, they weren't following their... Uh, they weren't following our, our suspect, um, but our suspect seemed to be headed here. Mm-hmm. Um, do I only see humans around the fire? Yes. All right. And, and they don't seem to be our suspect? Um, not as far as you can tell. But remember, you're, do you remember who your suspect is? Uh, said when somebody, uh, we knew him or, or of him. You, 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 met, you had met him at the festival. And his yeah. name was Senric the Archer. So he is a woodman of sorts, or else he wouldn't have the the uh, nickname of the Archer. Which and means he's actually one head, of yours. Hmm? Yeah, well, here's a, a question. Mm -hmm. With the head start he had, um, what if he... We didn't cat pass him, did we? Nope. So, as a matter of fact, you guys it, were, were tracking his steps as he was going. Right. He was just way ahead of you. Yeah, and everything seems kind of normal here. There's, you know, no uproar. No, no, there's, uh, there's not even really any, you know, drinking or anything like that going on. I mean, they're, they um, are, are probably tearing apart a chicken and, and eating that. Um, they may have some alcohol there, uh, some spirits, but the, the likelihood is slim. Um, uh, they actually, from where you're at, which, um, let's see, you're probably actually closer to, yeah, see that one is 75 feet away from you and in the darkness, you're not really going to be able to tell much, but their clothing seems poor to you from where you're sitting all right so i i, I will try to uh to get closer okay that um, is going to be a prolonged action uh all I'm, right and uh, go ahead where's a good overlook um would something like here be an um, overlook well uh yeah you you, rocks to hide? okay now listen let's cross the river first and okay. then we'll see about getting to an overlook how's that all right, but that that's that's where I'm going, and I'm trying to use you're trying this to get up around here here as cover. Okay, yeah, keep it between me and them. Well, okay, so you're talking more like here. Okay, yeah. Okay, 
All right. That's, I don't see where that's going to be too much of a problem. Um, uh, let's go ahead and get your prolonged test for athletics done. Uh, you just need three good rolls. Okay. And if you don't get a good roll, you should be able to spend hope to square that away. Okie dokie. Um, that's athletics. Mm -hmm. And just a regular roll? Yep. Oh, no. Okay, so you should have... Okay, do you, do you see in where it says Radigand over in the chat window? Uh, yes. Okay, and to the right of that, it says so many seconds ago, and it's got a, it should have a trash can right there. If it doesn't have a trash can, that's okay. It, it does not have a trash can does anywhere it, on the floor. Does it have a kind of a sparkly-looking hand? Nope. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, we got to figure out how to do hope then. Because I just don't know how in this. This is second edition, so doing the hope thing is kind of ridiculous. Uh, I, I, I'm thinking maybe Hervé has not finished figuring out how to do hope in this, but did in first edition. So go ahead and reduce your hope. Uh, if you want to use hope, uh, which I'm going to suggest you do, go ahead and reduce your hope by one. Um, and then, uh, uh, we're, we're going to do it the old fashioned way. Uh, what is, let's see, athletics falls under what? Strength. Okay. You've got a strength of three, 13, 16. Uh, I think 16 would do the trick. Yeah. 16 would beat your target number of 15. So if you spend hope, it's going to give you your plus three and, uh, and we'll go from there. Okay, is there any way to make this work? Okay, where I can spend hope. For you, no? Nope. Okay, so uh, Hervé must not have figured that out yet. Okay, um, so anyway, did you spend the point of hope? I did. Okay, so that will give you 16. That's, your, that's good for your first one. Go ahead and roll your second one. We'll say that was a slick rock that you were trying to get over. Ooh. What? Ooh. Now, wait a minute. Let me see something here. There was a, a complaint that I saw. Five, three, three, two. Five. Okay. So this one is just a... Okay. Look, the water is really, really trying to get to you. Your right leg slams into the riverbed. Um, and your left leg lands on the rock. You're on your left knee. Um, uh, I'm going to say, since you rolled the, uh, the uh, Sauron's eye, go ahead and take two points of endurance loss. Uh, where is that? Scroll down. So my endurance goes down too? Yes, just reduce the, the big one, because you, you don't want to reduce the max, because, you know, I, for obvious reasons. Wow, and that's a loud splash. Um, <laughs> let me see something. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do a private roll on this one just because. <laughs> um, great. Well, if, at least if it's heat, if anybody sees heat signatures, I'm in a cold river. <laughs> nobody sees heat signatures, um, and nobody heard the splash. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna call that a second one, unless you want to throw hope at it. Uh, I mean, you can, but uh, let's just say that uh, pretty much, except for the the two points of injury that you just took, um, uh, you're still good to go. Uh, you okay. can kind of kind of recover yourself pretty quickly, um, and then give me your third roll, please. Come on, did it roll? It will in a moment. Uh, sometimes the thing needs to catch up. The server. Did it open a window for you like before? There we go. There it is. See? It just took a long time. 
Okay, that's still a failure, but at least it's not going to give you any damage. Uh, do you want to throw another point of hope at it? Yeah, I will. Okay. How have I managed to consistently roll the same number? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, I so don't that's know. That's going prayer. But I mean, the dice are all different. All three rolls came out to be different. Uh, your first one was a roll of five, and then your success dice were three, three, and two. Your second roll was a Sauron's Eye with a five, three, and five for success dice. This one was a roll of four and a three, five, one. So, I mean, they're they're all they're all thirteen. I don't I don't know if it keeps rolling thirteen like that. I'm gonna have a, a talk with Hervé. Um, but uh, he he's a good dude, so I I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. Okay, so um, you managed to get across. Oh, yeah, you managed to find your way across the island. Uh, you lick your wounds for a minute, and then the uh, let's see what what would you see? Um, give me an awareness roll, if you would please. All right. Awareness. Mm -hmm. I have two dots in it, but they're not favored. Ooh, automatic success. Actually, well, they, he's got it listed as a great success in here, but uh, that's a Gandalf's rune. You hear... And, uh, huh? and a, what is it? And a Tanguar rune. And a Tanguar rune, that's right. So that's that makes it a great success. You hear in this direction, you don't know how far... But you hear voices in this direction. Voices. Voices. Uh, and they're, male, female, another language, English. Uh, let's see. Common. Uh, one male, one female, um, and it's in Western, which is the common language. So, um, at any tone or timbre that I might recognize. N no. No, not really. Um, they're voices that you've never heard before. Let's put it that way. All right. okay. okay. Now, did you still want to try and get up around here? Yeah. Okay. So, um, this one is going to be a... Wow. It's actually going to be two rolls. I need an athletics check and I need a stealth roll. I know the stealth is not really a problem for you, but the athletics check may be. Well, it, it might be. Let's see here. Let's. Which do you want for, need first? Uh, the athletics, please. All right, let's roll some athletics. Okay, okay, that's a great success. You're gr you're good. No, I'm so All right, you're let's, groovy. Let's so add. And let's hope I'm equally stealthy. Well, I was going to say, I, I add one dice, but you don't really need it. Um, yeah, you. Uh, we're going to say that, that you got a, a high enough uh, roll. I don't know if that was going to be a Tanguar rune or not, but um, you've got a Tanguar rune, and you rolled a good success. So y y can you see the map fairly well from where you're at? Yeah. Okay, so move Radigand where you want her to be. How do I move her? Uh, you should just be able to left click and pull. Oh, wait, sorry. Okay, now you should be able to left click and pull. I was supposed to release that. She'll move uh, when you release her. I think right about there. Okay, all right. Up a little high, overlooking these bushes, crouch down behind these rocks. Fair enough. Now, you do see this fourth one does show up, okay? Um... So here's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do private rolls on this. Uh, let's see. Okay, I don't have a skill for that, so... Uh, I think that would be fair. Okay, so I need to get four rolls out of this. Um, at a target number of 17... Ooh, they're bad guys, so... Okay, so this one right here stands up and kind of looks in your direction, but it's not entirely clear that you have actually been seen. That's just the first one. Okay, the next one... 
and again the target number is a 17 even though the first one is working with the others okay that's a failure okay this one and it's a 17 okay and Oh, that one's an automatic success because of the Sauron's Eye. They're bad guys, so they do well on Sauron's Eye. Um, okay, so this second one doesn't do real good, uh, or the third one, I'm sorry, doesn't do real good, but is, is looking in your direction, okay? The fourth one, and they're kind of complaining to one another about hearing something. Yeah, but that could have been the conversation behind them. Mm-hmm. Could have been. Okay, that one was definitely a failure. Okay. Um, so they're all talking. Uh, it is actually, let's see. One, two, okay, so that one's female, that one's male. They've all got the same picture, but that one's male and that one's male. Okay, so there are, there's one female and three males uh, that are sitting around that campfire right now, and they are... Um, uh, this one down here, the female, um, looks around and is trying to look through. And at about that same moment, um, a, a, a rock or a bird noise or something like that is heard um, somewhere around here. Okay. Uh, and so this one uh, right here says, shut up, sit down. It's just a bird. <clears throat> and they kind of seem to accept that and go back to, to what they were doing. Okay, now let's get one more action out of you before I go back and do the next round of combat. All right, one go closer to count the fires and see if I can see any more than just those four. Okay, um, there are two fires. There's one here, which I didn't put down a, a graphic for. And then there's this one here. Let me see something. Is this a graphic in and of itself? No, nope, that that's a, part of the map. Is that a prison palisade or a... This in or here? A, yeah. Uh, it's an enclosure. I, I, it's some kind of an enclosure, but you're not... There's, there's nothing wandering around in there. Nothing and no one wandering around in that area that you can really tell. Um, uh, but there is light there and they, they saw fit to put the light there on purpose for whatever reason. Huh. And I've already th thought of what that reason is. So, <laughs> and then, uh, the other fire of course is just here. And all you see is the four that are around here and not your quarry. Or quarry. Right, and I heard voices coming from the other way. Well, I think this is as far as I'm going to get. I'm going to try to uh, go back after this. Okay. Um, we're Okay, I'm not going to worry about making a whole bunch of rolls for that. Uh, we're going to say that you, you found a decent path across those rocks, so I'm not going to have you roll again for it. Uh, you were able to get back across the river safely, and uh, and then you will be uh, with your friends soon enough. But I'm going to go ahead and ask you to go ahead and go back to the brook, and I'm going to move uh, Radigand back with the other tokens. Okay. So yeah, you don't you don't have to move Radigand. It's all right. I'll take care of it. Okay. So yeah, head on back to the brook and the the upper channel. I'll be there in just a moment. All right. Let's see. How do I get back now? There Just, it is. Yeah, click on the channel and confirm. Okay, so we don't need to do that after all. All right, so good deal. Um, I'm going to go ahead and configure, and we're going to go GM only. Okay, and save changes. Okay. All right, I'm going to head back there. And let's get back up here. Confirm. Okay. Um, Third 13 in a row. Yep. Yes. That's why I say that. I hope she used some hope. <laughs> yeah. 
Not too much, though. I mean, you know, you don't want to use too much hope. Got to save some. Okay. Well, I mean, this is a one shot. It really don't matter. It is. Well, it it could be a one shot, but if we go further with this, um, uh, someone may choose to use one of these characters because they're all legitimate and good characters. So yeah, that is true. Yeah, you can retain hope, sanctuary. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That is true. Okay, so uh, Duota, you are first. We also forgot to use the fellowship last name. Uh, yeah, we. Uh, you know what? I'll I'll make sure. Uh, I'll make sure to use that. I think you pulled a point of of hope off of the fellowship pool, but that was it. Well, I had yet, but I used two in my scheme. Yeah, you used two of your own though, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So then there's five from last game and there will be five from this one. So if you guys start to run really low on hope, don't worry about yeah. that too much. Okay? Yeah. I'll, I'll take yeah. care of it. Um, Ross, thank you for the reminder. I had forgotten. Uh, yeah, matter of fact... Yeah, well, it ran over, so, you know, you went like an hour more than you intended anyway, I think. But uh, I think 20 minutes, you know, come on. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I was fine. But yeah, fellowship rating. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go ahead and put uh, a time total to of ten. Back. Time to get back to killing orcs. Yeah, time to get back to killing orcs. Uh, let's see. Let's just go with this one and update drawing. Okay. Oh, hey, that's all D and D ish. Okay. So fellowship rating of ten. Uh, if you guys need to use it, just let me know. And. Uh, and and we'll go from there. Um, so, uh, Duota, it is your turn. There was something else I was supposed to do. Oh, oh, do you guys want to change your stances at all? Stances on what? Okay, you've got oh, four yeah. stances. You've got four stances, and those are forward, open, defensive, and rearward. Rearward is generally going to be for your archery, um, and you should be able to right-click on your on your character token and get a side menu to come up that gives you those four. Um, you can change to any according to the game rules, and I don't like this very much, but according to the game rules, you can change between your close combat stances, which are forward, open, and defensive, or your uh, ranged combat stance, which is rearward. Um, each turn, if if that's what you would like to do, uh, just bear in mind the the target numbers for second edition uh, for forward stance. Uh, you get to roll an extra dice. There's an extra dice that is automatically rolled for you um, mm -hmm. if you're in forward stance against whatever opponent you're fighting. Um, but they also get an extra dice to hit you. Um, yeah. For open, there's no dice bonus or penalty. And then for defensive, there is a, a dice penalty of one dice um, for you to hit any of your opponents, but they can also hit you. Now, ranged, um, ranged is different. Uh, that is just for firing um, your, your bow, and your range is changed based on your uh, ranged combat is just that ranged you you're you're at a distance noreen is actually going first because he changed to a close combat uh, a um a forward combat stance okay uh your how you're arranged in the combat stance is is uh, uh, based on the combat stance you choose. So it'll be resolved by forward first, then open, then defensive, then rearward. Okay. Uh, I'll be back in just a moment, folks. Seems kind of backwards to me. I would think the rangers go first, right, with the arrows. Well, that's only with the opening volley. Yeah, with the opening volley. Everything yeah. else is based on. Every other round is based on those stances. Yeah, and unfortunately, with my unfortunately with my lack of knowledge of this system, uh, how this game system works, uh, I did not realize that the opening volley is there, and those who can do an opening volley are chosen to do so. 
but uh, uh, I, I sh skipped right into um, uh, close combat. So, okay, yeah. let me let me go Sorry. take care of Puppy Boy here. I'll be right back. Yeah, so uh, if you have a bow and you want to save shooting arrows, slash the rear one and get behind me and whoever else wants me and melee. Yeah, I don't have a bow, though. So yeah, I, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, yeah, Daruna, it says you're in forward stance, so you're, you're probably using a sword or something. So, sword and axe, or... Yeah, who here has bows? Uh, Luthwin does, and uh, Iwald. Yeah, so you two should match up to the, to the rock. Well, one of you is on it. Well, I uh, need to stay by... Uh, da, 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 um, uh, do, uh, do odd. Because they're human and can't see the dark. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, and I currently have the torch. Yeah, that's fine. I'm coming up to lend a hand. Uh, yeah, the, so I'll be behind body. you. Yeah. Yeah, just... Just stay out of the way until <laughs> you want to draw a weapon and fight. Yeah. Uh, if you if you don't have heavy armor, take open or defensive stance. That's not a bad idea. He's not wrong. Only if you don't have heavy armor and a shield, don't be in forward stance. It's just not practical. Because you you really let because every time they swing they hit an extra die to roll, which means if they get a tank or ruin, they're gonna hurt you hurt you more. Now the way that I used to do things in first edition, uh, and I may end up doing them for this one if we go further, um, is that your stance was determined for you based on where you placed your character. Um, if you placed your character really close to uh, a bad guy, um, you were considered to be in forward stance. If you were like two, uh, two, two spaces away, um, you were considered to be open. Three spaces would, or more would be defensive. And then rearward would have to be um, like three or more. You, you're supposed to have one more person uh, in close combat stance. Uh, than the number of enemies before you can use the, anybody can use the rearward stance, but I don't necessarily agree with that, um, just because of books and movies and stuff. So the the yeah. system seems counterintuitive, but trust me, it works. Yeah. So. And, and it's it's still very similar to first edition. They just change some of the mechanics. Yeah. So it's still theoretically. The same game, it's just some of the mechanics changed. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, and that's why I'm. If you if you're wearing like leather armor, get the F behind me. <laughs> that's one way to put if, it. If you're not if you're not wearing metal armor and and using a shield, get behind the people that have them because. When they hit melee, it's going to be a lot worse than just them throwing spears at you. Mm -hmm. Most most adversaries and most this game is meant to do melee combat primarily. And if you look at the movies and the novels, they did lots of melee combat. Sure, mm -hmm. the elves and men and even dwarves use bows or crossbows or whatever, but uh. It's axes, swords, and spears, and magics, and stuff, or the heavy, mostly swords and axes. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Okay. So. All right. So round three begins. You guys have chosen your combat stances, and here we go. Norin, you're first. Uh, don't forget you can move a number of spaces equal to your strength. Yeah. Not the target right. number, just the strength. <laughs> yeah. 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 So mine is five. Mm -hmm. So for a dwarf, you move pretty far. Yeah, right here up here, next to my 
see, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, um, let's do this one. Okay. I want to protect my old friend. And this human is my friend, too. Okay, so, so does... And I, and, and, and I tell both of them to get behind me. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, let's see. So you're in a forward stance. Does that mean you're going to try and intimidate a uh, foe? Or uh, yeah. the, the foe were pretty far away. Yeah, I don't know if it really matters at the moment. Can I make um, a recommendation? Um, go ahead and, and what we'll do is we'll switch you, you know, switch up to defensive stance. And then you could use the combat action protect companion. Okay, yeah. I, don't, I haven't memorized all the... Yeah, no, that's fine. Me. That's fine. So, so yeah, go yeah, ahead and change your whole, stance. Yeah, because I'll change it next turn when I close her. And then he start smacking things. Okay, so there you go. And we'll just remember that you're in the defensive stance, okay? Uh, yeah, or that that you've already acted. Uh, do yeah, do, yeah. okay. Do you understand how to use protect companion? Uh, no, I'm gonna go ahead. <laughs> okay. Well, let me read it for everybody so everybody understands. Um, a player hero assuming a defensive stance may choose to protect another hero fighting in a close combat stance. To do so, the acting player makes a battle roll as the main action for the round. Uh, on a successful roll, the next attack aimed at the protected player hero lose one dice, plus another one dice for each success icon uh, the the protector rolls. So, do you do you have a battle roll for me? Oh yeah, I, have, I, have, I think it's favorite. Um, actually, uh, look also on no, your. It's not, it's not favorite, but I do have. It. Okay, but look also on your character sheet, because, uh, let's see, Rhymes of War, Stonecraft, Tunneling, Determined, and Honorable. Okay, those are not going to help. Uh, Matic is Keen, that's not going to help. Okay, so it looks like you're just making a standard roll. No target number adjustment or anything. Okay, that is a great success. So you get one Tangwar rune, so that means any... Uh, and you're just protecting Luthwin, right? Primarily, yes. Okay, uh, then he will... Wait a minute. Shoot. I'll give you something here. If it, Okay, you step up to basically kind of protect Duota and Luthwin at the same time, right? Yeah. Okay.